You might know it as OxyClean, Oxygen Bleach, Oxygenated Bleach, Non-Chlorine Bleach. It's got a lot of different names. Everyone kind of calls it OxyClean. OxyClean is actually a brand. It's kind of like the Q-tip of Oxygen Bleach, if you will. It's now just got that technical vibe to it. But Oxygen Bleach is an amazing addition to your home because it helps with laundry and it helps deal with stains and odors. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through 10 different ways that you can use Oxygen Bleach at home, whether it's OxyClean or any other brand. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, and I wanted to let you know that we are bundling up three of our best selling eBooks and we're also throwing in a checklist at a very discounted price. We have been getting so much great feedback about our eBooks and basically what I've been doing is putting my brain into dump mode. I've been writing major eBooks, going really deep on a lot of cleaning topics, answering some of those very technical questions that I get asked all the time and I've been putting that detail into eBooks. As you know, my job is to make cleaning as easy, efficient, and effective as possible while you spend the least amount of time and the least amount of money getting the job done right the first time. So that's the vibe of all my eBooks. You can check out that bundle. I've got a link for you down below. It's on a special price right now. And I'd also love to know in the comments, what other eBooks would you like to see me write? Because I wanna help you get your cleaning solidified. There's so much to know about oxygen bleach. We know it's different than chlorine bleach, and I will get into some of the nitty gritty stuff at the end of this video. If you're interested in learning how oxygen bleach works, stay tuned until the end and I'll get you what you need to know. Now let's start off with laundry and more specifically pre-treating because oxygen bleach is a great pre-treater. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can use it as a pre-treater. You can purchase a ready to use pre-treater or you can whip up your own if you have the powdered version. You can just put it in a spray bottle, label it and use that. Or you can make up a big tub or sink and soak your item as a pre-treater before laundry. So I would use the soak if it's a really big, really difficult or really smelly stain. And I would use the direct shot pre-treater if it was just kind of a small stain and just something I just wanted to, you know, zap before it went in the laundry. Now, regardless of which method you use, you always want to use my desert method of stain removal, which is to get your stain flat and dry like a desert before you treat it. You can use oxygen bleach as a laundry booster. And if you read the back of the package or if you wait until the end of this video, I'll explain to you how it works and you'll understand how it just boost. It's like your laundry detergent on steroids. And I use this quite a bit when Riley was a baby because babies get all the things on their clothes. It's like a baby just glaze, like a juice glaze of stuff. And you need to clean that. So the best way to do it is obviously to use a great detergent and understand how your machine works. I talk about that stuff all the time, but if you really wanna pack a punch and that's what I needed a lot when I had a baby, uh, I would just throw a scoop in. So you add the scoop to the drum, then you load in your clothing, you run your regular cycle through and your clothes just come out cleaner, less smelly and brighter. You can use a solution of oxygen bleach or a pre-made oxygen bleach stain remover shot spray to deal with stains on carpets and upholstery. But there, there are like a couple of caveats I need to throw out there. First of all, you always wanna lean on what the manufacturer of the item says. So I don't know all the carpets and all the couches in the world. You need to talk to or read your manufacturer's website to make sure that this is a safe method. That's rule number one. Next, you wanna test this solution in a hidden area. So find a little corner, give it a little test, just make sure that the color's not gonna run or it doesn't leave kind of a ghost imprint behind that you're gonna then be stuck with. Cause when you go for the big treatment, you're gonna really regret it after. So if everything looks good so far, you can, like I said, either whip up your own solution in a spray bottle or a bowl, or you can buy a ready-made solution. They should work the same. Although I will say sometimes the ready-made solutions have a few extras in them. 
I'll leave that for you to decide. So what you'll do is you'll get your stain desert flat and dry. Then you're gonna add your solution to that stain. You're gonna work it in with a little cleaning toothbrush, uh, rinse it out, blot it, and you can repeat it until you notice that the stain starts to come out. If you wanna lighten up your grout, you can use oxygen bleach to do that. Now for this, it's recommended that you actually whip up a very concentrated version of the powder in hot water. That's gonna be super important here. So what you'll do is you'll make that concentrated version and you're going to apply it to your grout lines. Let this sit and it needs to be wet. So you wanna apply it very generously. It has to sit wet for like 10 minutes. Once that's done, you're just going to wipe it away. You don't really have to scrub, and that should have done a really good job lightening and cleaning the grout. I spent many years working in food service, especially when I started Clean My Space. I was actually working at a steakhouse. For those of you in Canada, I was working at the keg. And if you haven't been to the keg before, you have to wear a white blouse and a tie. It was hot. But the thing is, like when you're serving steaks and clearing dishes, you are getting stuff on you all night. Plus, your shirt smells from you and from the steaks. So at the end of the night, it was imperative that I took care of my uniform tops and I had a few cycling. Now, this was right when I started Clean My Space, so I kind of sucked at doing laundry, but if I could advise my younger self, I would have said, hey self, Add a scoop of oxygen bleach to your load whenever you're washing your uniform. And this goes for anyone who has to wear a uniform, whether it's like a sporty golf tee or a mechanic outfit, whatever the case may be. I know those of you who, I know you're gonna laugh that I just called it a mechanic outfit. I'm sure there's a technical term for it that's just not coming to my head right now. A jumpsuit, a boiler suit, whatever. You know, you got the visual. You're gonna add oxygen bleach to your load. That's gonna help reduce, um, release grease, odors, stains, and it's just gonna help your uniform feel fresh because when you're working in something, it's getting dirty and it's getting smelly from you. So take care of it by using oxygen bleach. If you're noticing that your cotton towels are stinky and crusty, something that you can do is add a scoop of oxygen bleach to your load. So you would add the scoop before you throw your towels in, wash as usual, to help break up the odors and some of the buildup. Now, I have a whole video on how to deal with stinky towels. I'll place that for you down below. We also have our own line of towels, the microfiber towels that actually don't smell, so you wouldn't need to do this on them. I will also link those down below. But the point is here that towels can get smelly from buildup over time. So this is a great way to deal with that. It's sort of a Band-Aid solution or a first step. And then the big stuff would be what I have in the video down below. Now, the other thing that you can do with this method is you can use it as sort of a preventative or an ongoing. So anytime that you are doing a load of towels, you can add that scoop of oxygen bleach and it's a really good way to maintain the way that your towels smell on a regular basis. If you have a pet, you probably know they have a favorite soft surface, whether it's a pillow, a blanket, or a pet bed. And heaven forbid you stick your nose on that thing and smell it because it probably stinks. So every now and then it's important to get those pet surfaces, whatever they are, clean and odor free. A great way to do this is to add that scoop of oxygen bleach to your wash before you throw it in, wash as usual, and you will notice that that item comes out not smelling like your pet anymore, which is great. Now, the other thing you can use oxygen bleach for in the pet sphere is to deal with pet stains. So if, for example, you have a barf or something that your pet has left for you, which I deal with all the time from Molly, thank you very much. You can efficiently deal with the stain by making it like a desert, flat and dry, blotting it up, and then treating it with a solution of pre-made oxygen bleach. So you would either buy the ready to use liquid or you can get the powdered version, whip it up according to the package instructions, and then gently add that on, agitate it, rinse it, blot and repeat as necessary. I have never played a team sport in my life, but I have heard enough of your comments to know, and I've spoken to enough friends to know 
that sports gear and even workout gear, which I have experienced, gets smelly. So a really good way to deal with this is to soak your garments, your sports garments, if they're really dirty, in a scoop of oxygen bleach powder. You can soak them for several hours, use that as a quote unquote pre-treater, and then launder as usual. You can also add a scoop of oxygen bleach powder to your wash before you turn it on. But what you do need to know is that many people in the sports world have oxygen bleach powder up their sleeve as a trick to get their uniforms looking crisp and white and clean if they're white, or if they are another color, they won't smell, they won't look or feel grungy. It really helps to rejuvenate and make those sports uh, gear, you can tell I'm so not sporty, make that sports gear look good. Now, obviously you can't use this on heavy duty pieces of equipment or padded items. Again, this is where my sports knowledge completely stops. So I wouldn't do that, but I do think for the clothing, this is totally fine. As a child, I used to deal with chronic nosebleeds. I am also a regularly menstruating woman, so I have dealt with my share of blood stains before. And I know, first and foremost with a blood stain, you have to act fast. This is not something where you take your coffee break and then you deal with the blood stain after. Now, if you are that quick, you can actually just run the stain under cold water and it should rinse right out. However, as soon as you start to notice a ring setting in, that's when you want to start acting. Or if you're dealing with a stain that's not on a garment, say it's on carpet or upholstery, you have to think of alternative ways to deal with it. So let's take the cold water rinse out of the equation and let's talk about some of the more challenging blood stains. What you'll do first is blot up as much of it as you can. Again, flat and dry. Next, you're going to whip up an oxygen bleach solution with water, according to the package instructions, or you can use a ready-made version of it. You're going to spray that on the surface. You'll let it stand for a minute or so. Then you're going to agitate it very gently and you're going to rinse it with cool water. Now, what's so important here is you want to avoid spreading the stain. The more product you add, the more water you use to rinse, the larger that ring of the stain is going to get. So you really want to use as little as possible. Keep your actions very minimal. You just want to be very tight, focused, and concentrated on this particular stain. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, blood is a very, very stubborn stain. You've got to keep working at it. The biggest tip is to not use hot water or even warm water. Cold water is key. And again, to keep it very concentrated. When we think about oxygen bleach, there's a really simple way to imagine how it works. It's got two ingredients, sodium carbonate, hydrogen peroxide. That's mixed together. It's either in liquid form or powder form. Once that's added to water, what happens is this teeny tiny bubbling action. So actually, if you look at oxygen bleach powder when it's mixed with water, you'll see these like teeny tiny foamy bubbles. And those bubbles penetrate fibers and they get right in there to help wiggle out and break bonds between dirt and a surface. So that can be an odor causing piece of dirt. It can be a grease stain, whatever the case may be, the little teeny tiny oxygen bubbles shake all of that stuff loose and that's how it works. And that brings me to this week's comment question. We're going to get a little bit personal here and that is what is the worst stain or the most awkward or inconvenient stain you've ever gotten? I will tell you mine. It's embarrassing, but we're all human. So fine. I'll just tell you we were at a wedding. It was on a boat. We were touring a lake, people were getting married, and that time of the month just happened to show up. Now, to this day, to this day, I say to myself, what made me wear a black outfit? It was surely divine intervention because there were no other solutions for me that night. I had to go to the one bathroom on the ship, do a full recon, and then I came out, I told my in-laws the story, they were laughing at me the whole night, I went home and reminded myself the next time you're on a, uh, a wedding boat trip, you need to bring some additional uh, enforcement. Anyway, that's my story. I'd love to know the most inconvenient stain you've ever gotten in the comments down below. It never feels nice to touch a crusty, crispy, stinky towel. So definitely check out this video on how to take care of your towels and make them feel and smell great again. If you'd like to support the Clean My Space channel, you can of course do so by subscribing 
and by checking out Makers Clean, where we sell all of our premium microfiber cleaning tools. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.